And welcome back, folks, to more Yakuza 4. Uh, last time we played, we did everything but the story. Because that's what we do in Yakuza. We don't do the story, we just play Mahjong or table tennis or play the casino. And that reminds me, we did unlock the casino, so let's go check it out. Let's go make some cash money. Stories for losers. It's true. Casino. Ooh, this looks swanky. I would buy some chips. Give me some lays. We got the cheating item for the blackjack, so let's try it out. Beto. Okay. Nineteen, we've got thirteen showing. What do we do? Hit. Hit. Bust. We a buster. Oh, oh we would have busted anyways. Use that. How does this work? Use it. Yes. Black Jack. Black Oh my God! How does he do it? We're gonna get kicked out. Wait, can, are we are we gonna get black jacks till the end? Oh no! Our black jacks. Well, he's showing it too. So he has to, he has to play. Hmm. I'm going to stand on 15. Oh, it's a five. 15. He has to play. 22. We did it. Play for higher stakes. Oh, that's brutal. Stand up. 13. Come on. Bust. Uh-oh. Take insurance? Nah. Uh, I'm gonna f surrender. Yeah, we would have lost. Gonna quit. <laughs> Ooh, 
what is he doing? Baccarat? Why does he have a tower of cards? That's weird. What can I do with my chips? Get some platinum plates. Yeah, why not? Oh. gambling works in Japan like you can't win actual money but you can win prizes and you use those prizes to sell them off like at a pawn shop like for pachinko and all that but what happens if someone just brings it home Diamond Dasher, North Pink Street. Oh. Great dishonor. Malediction. To the whole bloodline. Well, you need to pay somehow. Shut up. I said I ain't got no money. Lost my goddamn wallet. Trying to skip out on the bill. Want me to cuff you right here and now? Huh? Who the hell? You lost. When am I going to start my voice acting career for Drunk Man B? So what it'll be, sir? Pay or take a trip to the station with me? I'll pay. By all means, let me pay. I'm happy to pay for your trouble. Oh, new phone. Who this? Thank you for cooperating with us. Oh, it's that guy in Theater Square. He said, oh, help us out with uh, with police work and we'll give you stuff. Oh, no, I don't want to fight. Policeman, help me. Don't we policemen stick together? Time to get mad rich. Three hundred thousand. Catching. Don't know what we're going to do with that money, but. At least we got it. We gotta go to Theater Square, which is on the uh, other side of the um, of the map. Again. Nope, not fighting. I am done fighting. This is my pacifist run. Can you beat Yakuza without 
throwing a punch? The answer may surprise you. It's no. No, you can't do it. Well, maybe if you just threw. No, uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of channels like that. Oh, good. Tanamura. Hey, you mailed me about wanting to talk about something? Yes, some very strange rumors have surfaced about us. Rumors, that's right. Rumors that the Camarocho Guard is simply a front. That we're really black market arms dealers. The idea where that might have started. I haven't got a clue. Why don't you just ignore it? Unfounded rumors usually blow over on their own. That was my first thought as well. But then the police came to question me about it. I told them it's unfounded, but they claim they have an eyewitness who said they saw one of our members involved in a shady transaction. Eyewitness, eh? Yes, someone wearing our uniform was dealing in arms. Honestly, don't you find it a little strange that an arms dealer would dress in such a conspicuous manner? Hmm, there may be something behind this. Ideally, we would take care of the problem ourselves, but... But though it's unlikely, it could be that one of our members is responsible. That's why I need your help. Since you're able to work outside our group, I was hoping you could do something. We'll pay you a reward if the matter can be resolved. All right, I'll look into it. I appreciate your help. Mr. from HQ, we have a report of suspicious transaction taking place behind Kobo Buki Drugs. Oh, that's convenient. It's very convenient. We just talked about that. You'd think it would take a few days, if not a week. And then again, Yakuza is a world of coincidence. Where everything happens within a day. Curious how that works. Yeah, thanks again. I really owe you for this. Talk to you later. No problem. <laughs> this lets me sell my stuff without anyone suspecting a thing. Even if I raise suspicions, people will think it's Tamarocho Guard. Hey. Yikes! Cosplaying and selling weapons, real nice. Look, you're causing a lot of headaches by dressing up like that. But I'm sure you already know that, don't you? I have some questions for you, so how about you come with me? The hell I will! Crap, this has become a bit real pain in the A, because now I gotta get rid of you. You think he's got a gun? No, he was just dancing. It's okay, Diguchi. Guichi. Uh. Akaishi san. I caught the guy you're looking for. Want to come talk to him? Oh, there's a little, uh, flashy there. You son of a. You think you can do this to me and live? Oh, well, what do you say? Why are you doing this? Because you a holes keep getting in our way, that's why. I don't give a damn if you're the neighbor wa neighborhood watch or whatever. All that volunteer crap is screwing up our business. That's why we decided to mess with you a little. <laughs> Akaishi san. Word is your group's numbers have gotten real low lately. We ain't stopping until your group's history. Don't you forget it either. You'll get yours. I, I like how we we're letting him leave. Stop right there. Tanamura, there's no need to chase him down. I think I've caused you enough trouble already. Come on, Akaishi. You okay with letting him go like this? 
It's fine. I'm sure they won't use the same trick twice. I'm happy as long as they're no longer damaging our reputation. As long as we keep our work honest. I'm sure people won't believe in us. But those guys really seem like they have it in you. Have it in for you. That may be true. Still, after this incident, I hope they'll rethink their actions. In any case, I'm glad we were able to get through this without discovering it was one of our own members. You're a good guy, Akaishi. I guess that's... I guess as long as you're satisfied with it, with how it turned out, Tanamura, I truly appreciate your help. Just a little something to say thank you. More money. I'll be counting on your assistance if we run into any more trouble. You bet. Akaishi says it's fine, but I don't think that they're going to give up that easy. I just hope I'm wrong. Talking about being wrong. Hmm? Walker key. The fact that they hide him up is a pain. All right, I think we've done all the the submissions we can. club yet um i'm not sure probably not oh oh watch it get back where did the thing go well i found the case report for the hit you did? What did it say? A lot of stuff I already knew, plus one new piece of info. Oh? Sugiuchi was investigating the case, along with my dad. Sugiuchi? Same one that's always giving you hell back at the station? Mm-hmm. I've talked to him more times than I care to remember, but he never once mentioned being on the case with my dad. And that's despite him knowing how bad I want the truth. That's not the worst of it, either. I'm starting to believe someone on the force did my father in. Katsuragi said as much when we met you. Oh, yeah, Katsuragi. That whole thing. Another officer. Things just keep getting better, huh? Seriously. Why don't you call it a day? E even you need to rest at some point. You're right. I think I'll knock out for a while. You do that. Hey. Mei Hua. Get Machan's futon ready. A detective's honor. Boy. So, are you going to launch an internal investigation? Not yet. There's something I need to do first. What? Don't tell me you're taking off with the money. Yeah, I'm totally skipping town. Actually, I'm taking it back to its original owner. Oh? Who's that? Some money lender, apparently. He's got an office on Tenkaishi Street called Sky Finance. Can you imagine how much interest 100 million yen would rack up if I just let it sit? Yeah, forget that. Hmm. We're going to go see Akiyama. Bye, Machan. Have a good day. Well, I'll try it. Is she going to die? I feel like she's going to get killed. She's too there. And here's the thing about Yakuza games. If we see someone too much, they're going to die.
Lucky letting Chinese girls die. Well, I don't want to. Okay, I don't decide what the game does. Or do I? No, I don't. I have no... No gamer powers. The change of the script. And then we bump into someone, our suitcase goes flying, and then we, we take the wrong suitcase. Wouldn't that be a wacky scenario? The Sky Finance was here all along. Oh, you shouldn't sleep on that, Akiyama. You're gonna have a bad neck. Akiyama-sanka? So, yes, but... Huh? You... Where are you? Huh? Huh? You... This time? Huh? Huh? So... あんたがやすこさんに金を貸した男だったのかやすこやすこってリリちゃんのことどうしてあんたリリちゃんの名前をそう so that's her story didn't tell you any of this nope never asked i figured it was ser something serious but dang borrowing enough to put a hundred <laughs> Borrowing enough to put a hundred millionaires in debt. All to save your wrongfully accused brother on death row. I just wish she had come to me earlier. Might have saved her from going down a dark path. Well now, that Katsuragi broke his promise. We can at least put the money issue to rest. Here, I'm sure she'd want you to have this. Nah, I'm good. Wait, what? I'm saying I won't accept the money. We're straight. Okay, explanation please. Regardless how things went down, I lent that money to her. Isn't it only right that she'd be the one to return it? Uh, I don't know. Won't that leave a big gaping hole in your account? Detective, I have so much money, I hardly know what to do with it. And I'm not interested in making more. As for the hundred million, I couldn't give a rat's ass if I never saw it again. Why? You see, I only lend money to people I feel are worth investing in. That way I can see how my loan affects their life. That's a much more meaningful reward than seeing numbers on a spreadsheet. Not sure I understand your logic, but okay. Point is, I'm not taking that money. Not until she, retur not until she returns it in person. Where is she anyways? Okinawa. Her brother transferred to a prison there a few days ago. She said she wanted to be near him on his execution date. I knew she was a keeper. What? Did I not mention? I fell for her. What? Like in love? Exactly. So I'd really like to see her again. Unfortunately, that money's the only connection between us now. If I take it back from you, that connection is cut. And I'll probably never see her again. Some say love only lasts as long as the money. Ha. Huh. Ain't that the truth, homie? Pretty sad, huh? Almost as sad as this Arai sand business. Arai? Uno secundo. Hello. Oh, Kido. How you been? Found a rye? What? Mishima? Mishima? The guy from Persona 5? You mean the Ueno goon without a bullet in his head? 
Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Leave it to me. I'll get back to you. Bye. Who was that? I heard something about finding a rye. That was Keto, a rye's right hand man. What? I might as well tell you now. I'm helping Keto find his boss, a rye. He's a good kid. Why? Because I can't afford to lose a rye. Shibata bo the Shibata's boys are going going nuts trying to find him. They're trying to appease the Ueno Sewa by handing him over. We have to find him somehow before they get their hands on him. Of course, if what you said is true, I've been betting on the wrong horse. What's your connection with Arai anyways? I've been backing him out of personal interest. I'm not a mob front or anything. Still, this whole thing's been a real kick in the sack. Who would imagine Arai would be in bed with Katsuragi? I never pegged him as the type to make a move like that. So what exactly was that call about? Hmm? Oh, that? Kido was looking for a rye when he stumbled across another Ueno goon. You know, the one that disappeared after the shooting? There was another one? A guy named Mishima. He was sworn brothers with Ihara, the guy a rye ventilated downstairs. So what about him? He's asking for police protection in exchange. He says he'll cough up all he knows. He wants the police. He wants a detective he can trust. One that can protect him from the Ueno Sewa clan. I think you should go talk to him. Me? Yeah. You're a perfect fit. I mean, based. I mean, you're based. The force sounds like a total snake pit. Plus, you can't count on Sugiuchi or your superiors better person than you. Why should I? Who knows? It might get you a step closer to the truth you're looking for. How do you figure? The recent shooting between Nueno Sewa and Kanemura Enterprises, right? I've got this hunch it's all connected to the case your old man was working back was working on back in 85. There's just too much overlap between the main players to be a coincidence. <laughs> ま、どうして今になってそこまでする必要があった。今までも殺そうと思えば殺せたはずだ。なのになぜ今。焦っていた。そう。カツラギは焦っていた。ドンパチ事件が起こる前に何とかして25年前のことを知る人間を殺す必要があった
危険な賭けになるぞ覚悟はできてんのかなあ俺にとってこの山は自分の人生そのものなんだ Mishima is supposedly hiding over at the docks at Tokyo Bay. Best bet is to take a taxi there. Unless, of course, you have a fancy cop car. Thanks for the advice. Now to report my next move to the station. Hi, this is Tanamura from C Community Safety. Can I get someone in organized crime, please? Yeah, anyone there will do. Hi, this is Tanamura from Community Safety reporting in. I just wanted to check in before I go meet with a Yakuza member named Mishima, a material witness to that shooting in Kamurocho the other day. I'm meeting him over the dock, over at the docks on Tokyo Bay. Yes, that's right. No, he's already there. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, now that's now that that's taken care of, I'll be on my way. Mishima's supposed to be hiding in a warehouse on the docks. Getting there by cab would draw the least attention. I want to clarify, the traitor here pinned the man who shot 20 people as a murderer because apparently just shooting 20 people doesn't kill them. Well, not in Yakuza, obviously. Unless it's a cutscene. Oh, yeah, we gotta do the date thing. You're right, it was a cutscene. Then, then I don't know. Maybe they were fake bullets. Just kidding, bullets. Didn't actually want to shoot you. Like, I feel like it's kind of weird. Like, they're trying to set up, like, Saijima being, oh, well, he didn't actually kill everyone. So he's not really a bad guy. Yeah, I know, right? It's okay, only the result matters, not the not the intent. Oh, we're powering up. We're going to go fight Frieza. Span five thousand. Well, cuffing him is just an instant kill. Uh, we gotta get a date. 
I don't even know if we'll be able to get a date. We'll just do one cabaret. Here's the taco. Hello. Doesn't seem very happy to see us. Cheers. Enjoy yourself. She's so boring. I feel like I'm at a funeral. Hello. <clears throat> I'm like Miyuki. I'm afraid someone has asked for me. This was fun. See you soon. I just can't stand this type of girl. Hello. I'm Akko. Let's drink. Cheers. She's really not my type. I think our time's almost up. Yeah. Bye. These girls were awful. What a disappointment. <laughs> well, there you go, Deb. Have the worst luck. Hey, you know, it is what it is. I like how we're going to go through the docks completely, completely plastered. So when is it going to get shot? Are you a detective? Yep, I'm here to place you under protection. Okay. And you really think you can keep me safe? Only if you can keep your part of the bargain. You give me the dirt on what the Sueno, Ueno Suewa have been doing behind the scenes and I'll make sure to make you stay out of harm's way. Then that's a deal. I'll talk. It's like this. Me and Ihara were ordered to go make a scene at Club Elnard. Why? I don't know. Nobody said. Katsuragi just told us to steer steer crap up. So we followed his orders. But then that prick showed up. Akiyama from Sky Finance. Soda. Yeah, Akiyama. He messed he messed the entire game plan. I don't remember nothing after he busted that bottle over my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the champion district. Ihara, Ihara must have carried me over. Woke up surrounded by garbage bins. No sign of Ihara anywhere. Why the champion district? 
two of us get shit faced there a lot. And that's and it's close to Elnard. Ahara must have been freaking out. I bet someone was chasing him. He ditched me like that. Started looking for him so I can find out what happened and figure out our next move. I had no idea what kind of shitstorm this whole thing had become. Anyway, I had been walking around Camarocho for a while when I found him. His body, anyway. I practically puked when I saw that. I couldn't even process what was going on, you know? All I knew was that I was scared shitless. So I ran as far as I could. Ended up at Wayno Sewa headquarters, but I barely remember how I got there. Found an empty room there to chill the F out. Thought I'd catch my breath and try to digest all the crap that just went down. That's when I heard Katsuragi. Who was in the next room talking to somebody on the phone? What did he say? Can't say I heard everything. He was in another room and he'd been already been talking for a while. But it sounded like he was talking to the cops. The word police came up a lot. But it's what he said that freaked me out. He said, Ihara's dead, just as planned. We'll get rid of Mishima as soon as we find him. I got the F out right there and then. Thankfully, before anyone saw me, I've been keeping it low pro ever since. So he's gonna get killed. Five, four, three, two, one. Sure to start at ten, yeah. Sugimura. Sugiuchi. You're one surprised after the next, kid. Getting this close to the truth all by yourself? I'm damn near impressed. You don't seem too phased by all of this. Let's just say I had a feeling you'd show up. Ah. So you baited organized crime to see if you could lure out the traitor. Something like that. And you're not surprised to see it's me. Not really. Though I can't say I wanted it this way. How'd you know it was me? A gambler's dumb luck? A detective's hunch? Tsugiuchi. A good hunch comes from keen observation. Didn't you learn that back at the academy? Ah, must have slipped my mind. So, what tipped you off? I've known you were no ordinary cop for a while now. It's your fancy shoes. They always look brand new. Not exactly practical for a homicide cop working murder scenes. A normal cop buys cheap shoes and wears them into the ground. The watch too? Way too expensive for a detective salary. It's so high-end, I doubt your average person ever even heard of the brand. And if they did, their heads would explode at the price tag. Ah, uh, well, don't you have it all. Instincts and a sharp eye. Please, Sugiuchi. You really think it was all me? Huh? You haven't exactly been subtle. The rescue you staged when I met up with Katsuragi. Sending Chief Hisai ahead to Homeland? It's almost... It almost feels like you've been wanting me to catch on. What are you talking about? You've been working with Katsuragi for the last 25 years. But now you've grown tired of your little partnership, haven't you? I paid a visit to the archive room, 13. I saw the report on the Uena Sewa hit. What? You and my dad were both assigned to that case. Only the two of you could have covered up something as big as Katsuragi butchering 18 of his own people. And I know it wasn't him. You were ordered by someone up top to alter the facts, weren't you? 
I'll have to protect your good friend Katsuragi. Tell me I'm wrong. You shut your goddamn mouth. You don't know the first freaking case, uh, freaking thing about that case or about me. So come on, Cops! It was a trap. ここまでだ、杉内。お前が上の聖和会の勝ち投げと内通していたことは割れている。無駄な抵抗はやめて、おとなしく投稿しろ。くそ。杉内さん。もう終わりにしましょう。やっぱりお前ら何も分かっちゃいねえよ。杉内さん。てめえなこと言わな。俺の招待したとこで結局何にも出やしなんだ。じゃあ。動くな。天の外を須藤さんよ。ここで撃ったらあんた終わりだ。日本の警察ってのはな。撃てねえんだよ。そうだろ。いいぞ。何してるんですか。ブロックラシー。俺が警察って組織が引き込いて守ってる正義ってやつだお前にも分かったかじゃあな俺は撃てるぜ谷村法律がどうこうって問題じゃねえ要はこれが俺の警察官としての正義だ<笑> <笑>谷村お前やっぱり見込みがある男だぜ現場で三十年近くデカやってる俺が言ってんだ間違いねえよそれはありがたいねわかったそれじゃあお前の正義ってやつがどこまで本気なのか味わしてもらおうかじゃ
Doogie Uchi! Necessary. What? The motor's smoking. Boat rides over. We made it right back to the docks. Interesting fight. battle or bar Doing this while drunk, by the way. Won't be able to shoot again. Arm destroyed.
Sugiuchi! Oh, my back! Oh, freaking back! It's over. Arm destroyed. ジャ。25年前の上野義晴襲撃事件の真犯人が Go grab myself a bowl of ramen. I'm hungry. I take off his vest. Blanks. Nanda, Korea. Gomudan desio. Our bullets. She knew Hoto Janai desuga. Iduko was so torn among that to the show. Katsuragi. Oh, my nani. Katsuragi. Well, why go through all of that? Why not just let him kill them? Some good shot. One hell of a shot. Cause 
because Saijima's the perfect patsy. Yeah, but he was gonna do it. How many bullets do you have, buddy? That's a good model modeled gun right there. Shinaneteonyutekure. だいじょうぶだ。しばらくしたら目を覚ますだろう。あとは頼んだぜ。なるほど。ご苦労だったな。いえ、これが自分の仕事ですから。ほう。嘘の報告書を書くことが金。何のことでしょうか。無理がありすぎるよ、杉内君。<笑> この程度の報告書で私の目をごまかせるとでも思ったのかね。あの狭い店内、犯人の斎島が20人もの組員とやり合うには、かなり無茶な乱闘になったはずだ。当然、斎島も抵抗を受けただろう。それなのに、死んだ
宗像ひょっとして今の警視庁副総監のああ俺らのバッグにはあの宗像副総監がいるこれでお前も分かっただろう敵は果てしなく強大な存在だ、はあ、これで楽になった30年だ30年も偽りの自分を演じてきたんだ誰にも話せず誰にも理解されずになこの苦しみがお前に理解できるかあんた俺は一体何がしたかったのか25年前のあの日チェンジパーツ宗像を桂木に引き合わせたあの日から俺は警察と極道両方の犬になっちまった本当の自分の目的なんてもうすっかり忘れちまったよお前はいいなデカとして生きられてえ偽りとはいえ30年もデカやってるとそれなりに人に感謝されたり喜ばれたりすることもあった俺はその度に悩み苦しんだ果たして俺は何がしたいんだろうってな事件を解決するや人から感謝されるそんなりゃ頭じゃダメだと分かっていても心の奥底では嬉しいという感情を覚えちまう俺もさお前みたいに悩んで苦しんで走って力いっぱいでかやってみたかったな Damn. So he's gonna die. 逮捕しろよお前は自分の力で父親の仇捕まえたんだどうした一つ教えてくれうん宗像の目的ってのは何だ宗像はあんたや桂木を使って何をしようとしているんだお前の目的は俺を捕まえることだろうそれは達成できたんだこれ以上は知らないほうがいいダメなんだよそれじゃあそれじゃあダメだって親父が言ってる気がするんだまだ事件は終わってないだから俺は宗像を捕まえるそれを知ったら日本の警察すべてを敵に回すぞそれでもいいのか親父の死の真相を知るために刑事になった時から覚悟はできてるそうかすぎゅうさん No. That was our boss. 
何ですか俺だけじゃないんだ裏切り者は裏切り者<笑>杉内さん杉内さんこれで Finally free. ようやく楽になれる No! 杉内ありがとうな杉内さん目を開けろ杉内杉内It's been done. Good. Now for part two of our plan. So, Ka. Sugi Uchi ga shinda ka. Eh. Mere dori shimatsu shimashita. What? It's our old boss. I knew it. Eh. Futari tomo desu. これから谷村の身の回りの事実を知る人間を始末します。No Chinese girl, I was also right. No. あんた、マジに。何をするつもりだ You got bigger problems No I can't believe it What a twist that we already knew Because we can figure out Simple plot point Karyu Hold up is he part of Yakuza 4? Oh, my eyes. My retina's all messed up. It's a zombie. He's still alive? What? Hold up. Wait, what? It's the guy who stabbed. What's that, Haruka? You, you're so good. Remember me? Hamazaki. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird that all the sexual predators end up at the orphanage. It's kind of messed up. It's nothing a few bandages can't fix. あの子は。ああ、ハルカか。あいつはあんたのことが嫌いなんだろう。なるほどな。まあ、無理もね。ところで浜崎。お前。脱獄してきたのか。どうして脱獄なんかしたんだ。そんなことをしても。
また罪を重くするだけだそうだろう何日か前西島という男がここを訪れたその時お前の名前を口にしていたんだがその話本当かああそうか西島のやつちゃんと生き延びていたのかそうかやはり知り合いなのかああそれで西島はどうしたちゃんとカムロ町には行けたのかああ向かったその後無事にたどり着いたかまではわからないがなそうかそうかお前あの西島って男とはどういう関係なんだ兄弟だやつは俺の兄弟分だ兄弟キルあんたにどうしても頼みがある何してるんだお前俺は兄弟を男にしてやりてだから頼む俺の最初で最後の頼み聞いてくれ Please buy me a plane ticket We can't afford it So Hamazaki What do you want? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story, but Saijima, he's the guy who bumped off Ushiharu Ueno, chairman of the Ueno Sewa back in 85. And that's, yep, you spend enough time in Kamurocho, you're going to hear the story. Sa Saijima killed 18 men all by himself that day. That's what they say. Anyway, the two of us are only just met, both locked up in a private prison, a stone throw away from here. What do you mean private prison? I mean, the government's not involved. They put the contract in place, yeah, but the private sector's been running the joint since the day they broke ground. They call it Okinawa Penitentiary Number 2. I take it you never heard of the name? No, I had no idea. They officially call it a correctional facility, but that's a load of bull. It's a dumping ground for washed-up Yakuza they want to snuff out for good. It was only a few days ago that Saijima got shipped down from whatever crap hole they had him in in Tokyo. Which is when you met. Bingo. And you two planned the jailbreak together? More or less. Though I'm the one who came up with the idea, if I'm being honest. Why'd you pick Saijima as your partner? You saw him, right? The guy's built like a freaking brick wall. More importantly, I knew what really happened back in 85. The truth. Go on. Back in the day, Saijima was real tight with Majima. Yeah, that Majima. That Ueno Sewa hit? The one where Saijima slaughtered those 18 guys? That was originally going to be a two-man job. Saijima and Majima. Majima and Saijima were accomplices? Yep. But the day of the attack, Majima never showed. That betrayal's how I convinced Saijima to break me out. That explains why Saijima was talking about revenge when he was here. It's all bull, though. Majima would never have betrayed his brother. They were both set up. By whom? A guy named Shibata. He was heading up a third-tier Tojo family at the time. Problem is, Saijima and I got split up before I got to tell him what really happened. I, guess, I think I can guess the favor you want. Yeah, you gotta tell him the truth, no matter what. Why is it so important? As it stands, Saijima is going to try to kill Majima. Not only that, but... 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 I really respect him. He doesn't deserve to be living life in the dark, you know? Hmm. I mean, sure, I only asked him to help me bust out because of how tough he is. But he actually started trusting me during the escape. Me, of all people! The guy who stabbed you! By the way, Kiryu. Look. My life's been nothing but betrayal after betrayal. I've been on both sides of that coin. The two people looked beyond all that. Chose to trust me anyways. You and Saijima. Amazaki. I want another chance. To start over. Be a true brother to a guy who went out on a limb and actually trusted me. So I'm begging you, Kiryu. You gotta help me. 
One question first. What's that? Why do you need me to do it? Can't you go tell Saijima all this yourself? Well, I... What is it, Haz Hamazaki? It's my manga. I think I'm gonna get published. これは。これは。そうだ。今から5年前。あんたも関係したあの登場会の消えた100億事件。実はあの事件で動いていたあの金も沖縄第二刑務所設立の裏資金となるはずの金だったんだ。Oh, remember you Kusa one? Yeah, we'll have to replay it then. Never-ending cycle of Yakuza's. A year back, while I was still suckling the Tojo clan teat, I found out that the top brass over at Tokyo PD had their hands dirty, real dirty, with tons of shady cash. Bet you can guess where I learned all of that. Snake flower. Yep. They've been working with one of the top men on the force for years. Laundered his money through foreign banks and everything. Why go through all that trouble, though? What did the police need with all that cash? What they needed was to build one of their highest-ranking boys. Called their utopia. Oh, what they needed was to build what, what one of their highest-ranking boys called their utopia. There you go. Penitentiary number two, right again. The idea was they'd build a place to toss all the convicted Yakuza they'd round up and then go make deals with those very same Yakuza. What kind of deals? Stuff like bribing people to commit crimes. Then when the cops came in and saved the day, everyone would think they were heroes. Crime would become a police controlled affair. That's absurd. Yeah, an absurd power grab. Whoever handled those crimes would get big brownie points on the force. End up rocketing up the ranks. I still can't believe the 10 billion Jingo Jingu was trying to launder through Tojo was supposed to end up with the cops. Believe me, I was just as surprised as you when I found out. Even with the money getting blown to high heaven, the paper trail alone is some serious stuff. Honestly, the only reason I grabbed this file in the first place is because I wanted a little dirt on the warden. Something I could use to bargain my way out of there, you know? But I gotta say, I never thought I'd stumble on a, a crap storm like this. Almost feels like it's way out of my league if you get me. I show up on Tokyo PD's doorstep with this baby in tow? And that'll be the last anyone ever hears of me. Hmm. Turns out this file is not the bargaining chip I was hoping it'd be. It's yours now. But why me? Because you were at the center of everything that went down five years ago. Hell, you even had to beat the crap out of your own brother at the end of it all. Then... Nah. Kiryu? Going for a smoke. Come on, don't give me the silent treatment here. I just don't get it. Why did you show me that? I already told you. You gotta go to Kamurocho and tell my boy Sajimi. What really? There's more to it than that. I know there is. Besides, you would end up behind bars again in no time without this bargaining chip of yours. So tell me, Hamazaki, what are you really after? It's my rap lyrics. 
Gojo clan destroyed. Kamurocho skill hills Weosewa clan police PD. They pulled me back in. Uh oh, Haruka. She went and hit all the steak knives, obviously. She knew. Daichi in the house. Hey, it's the kids. Yo. Are they older now? They don't look older. We're home, Uncle Cass. The dog is here. Meme. Looks like you kids had a good trip. You enjoy yourselves? Oh, yeah. It was awesome. We hiked, went camping, even saw some old bones and stuff at a museum. Wasn't it super cool, Koji? Mm-hmm. You go. You gotta go with us sometime, Uncle Kaz. How was your great trip, Ayako? Great. Ne ne, oji san. Ano hito wa? Hamazaki san da. It's my good friend. ね、ちゃん。この子たちに近づかないで。はるか。おじさんは黙ってて。You're そうだよな。俺は悪党だもんな。浜崎。悪かったな、はるかちゃんよ。その子たちに近づこうとして。はるか。もういいだろ。よくない。いいわけないじゃない。おじさんは本当に浜崎って人のこと信用してるの。してるよ。もういい。もう私、おじさんがどうなっても知らないから。No. Don't go to the beach. It's where all the predators end up. Going back to Camarocha, aren't you? Haruka, I. Look, I gotta go deal with, you know, the whole clan thing. I don't get it, Uncle Kaz. How can you trust him so easily? He stabbed you in broad daylight, Uncle Kaz. You almost died. I'll never trust him. Never in a million years. Haruka, please. He's. He's my homie. Whenever I see him, I just think back to what happened last year, what he did to you. That memory terrifies me, Uncle Kaz. Erica, I took a stamina in X. I was okay. I always believed in you. You know I have. But this time, I'm really worried. It feels like if you go to Tokyo now, you're never gonna come home. You heard us talking last night, huh? Maybe you want to know what happened five years ago, but I don't care one way or another. I just want you to be safe. Don't care, Arika. You lost both your parents in that incident. I lost Nishiki and Kazuma. 
If there really was something going on behind the scenes, wouldn't you want to know what it was? I... I'm happy just being here with you, Uncle Cass. That's all I need. Not the truth. Just you. Aruka. Everyone's eavesdropping. それに俺も今すぐここを出て ここでの新しい生活があるんだろう。でもそれじゃ、お前が心配すんな。俺は結構しぶとい。国中で最島の帰りをゆっくり待つとするよ。浜崎。Yes, I'm going to head down to the station now. Turn myself in. Already? Sooner the better, I figure. Anyways, I'll be seeing you, Kiryu. Hold on. Do you even know where the police station is? I'm an adult. I got eyes. I'll find it. I'm coming with you, Hamazaki. We might have had our differences, but you, at least, deserve a proper send-off after all we've been through together. Eh, suit yourself. Sure about this, Hamazaki. 100%. The only way I'm reuniting with Saijima is when we're both back in the slammer. Hamazaki. Please, why won't you listen to me? My brother was sent to a prison in Okinawa. I know he was. Oh, that's convenient. You can say that all you want, lady, but I've never heard of this penitentiary number two you keep going on about. It's very convenient. Just go home already. No, please. You have to listen to me. I'm begging you. Also, uh, it's very hot outside. I don't know why I'm wearing this big old coat. We've already listened. Listen. I already told you. We looked through the logs of every prisoner shipped down here. The prisoner isn't and has never been in an Okinawa prison. He is. I just know he is. Please check for Taiga Saijima one more time. Wow. Isn't that so convenient in this Yakuza game? That everyone shows up at the right moment. What? Nani? Ori jo shirabe te mo onaji desu. Tori kaku mo o hitori kudasai. Chotto matte kudasai. Chotto matte? Anta moshikashite Saijima Taiga no shiriai ka? Eh? Eh? Taiga wa watashi no ani desu. ちょっと警察署の前では都合が悪いな。もしよければ少しお話を聞かせてもらえませんか。え、もしかして兄のことで何かご存知なんですか？ああ、場合によっちゃあんたの力になれるかもしれん。とにかく人目のつかない場所に
if there's anywhere we won't be interrupted, it's here. So are you ready to talk? We may be able to find where your brother is if we pull all our information we have. Right. Now you said you were Taiga Saijima's sister. That's right. My name is Yasuko Saijima. I, I haven't seen my brother for 25 years now. Every single day I tried to visit him in prison, but they would never once let me see him. Not a single time in all those years. And a few days ago I heard he was being transferred. The penitentiary number two in Okinawa. Hmm. As soon as they told me, I left Kamurocho and raced down here. But no matter how many times I asked, all the authorities insist such a place never existed. That's what we walked in on. Yes, I'm at my wit's end here. Yasuko, yeah? Anyone who told you about... Anyone who told you penitentiary number two doesn't exist either doesn't know the truth or was lying to you. It's real, all right. What? I should know. I've been there. You have? Oh yeah. They gave it some fancy name and a number like a regular old prison, but it's not actually government run. You ever heard of a private prison? Of course. And that's what penitentiary number two is. Yep. Details are going to have to come later though. I've got some important news for you first. The truth of the matter is, I know your brother. You know Taiga? Mm-hmm. Oh, and here's another grain of truth for you. He's long gone from Okinawa. Probably reached Kamurocho by now, if I had to guess. Me and him broke out together a few days ago. You... what? He's telling the truth? Your brother washed up at my orphanage the other day, and I ended up giving him some money to get up to Kamurocho. Sorry, Yasuko. You just missed him. In that case... I can't afford to waste any more time here. I need to get back to Kamurocho at once. What if she's not Yasuko? And actually hired to kill him. Some, some Yakuza showed up. Not suspicious at all. Oh! Penitentiary guys! Aren't you dead? Who dies in this? What about you? So that's the beach? Went running to the police begging to see Saijima. Who are these guys, Hamazaki? Guards. From that crap hole penitentiary I was telling you about. These pricks are the cruelest goons in the business. Rich coming from an escaped convict. Look, I'll go back with you. Whatever I gotta do, just leave those two out of it. They ain't got a damn thing to do with this. No can do. Don't worry, Hamazaki. We're not gonna kill you. But you're gonna need a serious attitude adjustment once we get you back in the slammer. Might have to beat you till you change. Either way, the beach ain't going anywhere. Why? This is between you and me. Sorry, but the warden's orders. He told me to bring in Ty Taiga Saijima's sister, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Me? But why would... It's a load of bull. Hamazaki, huh? Take care of Yasuko. What? What are you saying, Kiryu? I'll handle the guards. You stay behind me and keep her safe. Yeah. You hear that? You want to get to Yasuko? You're going to have to go through me. With no potions. Who are you, tough guy? Someone who spent almost a quarter of his life in prison. And I can tell. You're no ordinary guards. Mm. Step aside, pal, or who knows? 
we might just accidentally beat you to death. I think you'll find that it's not as easy as, as you expect. Your funeral. No more messing around. Slaughter him. Are we going to have a tutorial? You missed the fighting in three? No. I'm glad we can actually hit people. And it's not just a grab fest. I'm surprised Kiryu still has such a, a life bar. Kiryu's pretty fast, though. Okay, you, you, can I freaking play? <laughs> I keep getting stunned. Dragon God defense. Win God. So we got moves here. A bomb?
<gasps> no. Our greatest enemy yet. Let's see, we meet again. I forgot how strong Kiryu was. Oh, you buddy. You, just, you had your chance. What? Oh, you made a mistake though? Um, I'm actually packing heat. How did 18 guys survive getting shot by one guy? Oh, there you go. There's your answer. There we go, jeez. Brink a spine. Boston Crab. Oh, 
後の処理は俺がやるだからあんたは一刻も早く最初のところへ浜崎さんお前どういうわけかわからんが安子さんあんたも命を狙われてるようだ桐生ああ分かってる俺も一緒にカムロ町に行くえすまねえなあの子供たちを裏切るようなことをさせちまって俺はお前に頼まれてするわけじゃないカムロ町に行くのは俺の意思だ早く行けこっちのことは心配するなああ行こう安子さんはい浜崎さんありがとうございました兄にあなたのような親友がいたこと誇らしく思いますやめてくれそういうの兄には必ずあなたのことを伝えますいいから行けさあ行こう Blood. Rip Hamazaki for real? True. True. Leaving already, Ma? You know, Zhao, you've been a better friend to me than I've been to you. Don't be ridiculous. You know that's not true. I'm sorry that the truth turned out to be so harsh. Your father murdered by another man on the force. I can hardly believe it. You're telling me something about this doesn't sit well. How will your father's spirit ever find peace? I think he'll be just fine. Chief Isai. Sugiuchi, they were tired of being used by Mun Munakara and Katsuragi all these years. Oh, so he committed suicide. The two of them spent their whole lives serving another others, but in their final moments, those were theirs, theirs alone. They went out following their own brand of justice. Ma. Sugiuchi must have known must have known telling me the truth of what happened 25 years ago was signing his own death warrant But he did it anyway and chief Asai he took his own life in order to spare you me and Mei Hua That explains what he said into the phone before he shot himself both of them will be dealt with Yeah Chief Asai told Munkata I was dead so he'd stop coming after me He spared my life so I could do what's right so that I could do what he could now. Oh, we also got another fake suicide in this. Better put a, uh, better put a cap on. You mean to bring Munkata down? Exactly. But how are you going to do that, Ma? Munkata is one of the most powerful men in one of the top police institutions in the world. Well, I don't think I'll be getting much help from my fellow officers, that's for sure. Yeah. Nihao Akiyama. <laughs> Ooh. Raps really hit the fan, huh? You're telling me. Anyways, what's up? You wouldn't swing by without a good reason? You know, sometimes it's depressing how sharp you are. What happened? District Attorney Goon showed up in my office, started tearing the place apart at the seams. Not to mention, they chucked me out on the street. Wait, they're investigating Sky Finance? On what grounds? They said they're looking for into some kind of coercion. Exact term is eluding me at the moment. Anyways, 
issue is my tests. They say I'm forcing people to do stuff they don't want to do in exchange for money. Classic coercion case, I guess. It's like I can hear the words coming out of the DA's mouth himself. Anyway, I didn't know where else to turn, so I thought I'd drop by. Looks like I caught you at the bad time, though. Want me to come back later? No, your timing couldn't be better. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I need a hand with something, Akiyama. Uh, that was like a game? Oh, Kiryu. Kiryu san. I can't do that. どうやらいつものカムロ町って感じじゃないな。あ、カープス。あんまり悠長にしている暇はなさそうだ。すぐにあんたのお兄さんを探そう。ええ。だがとりあえずその前にあんたに言っておきたいことがある。ちょっとついてきてくれ。We're going to Serena. Kamurocho home. At least before I. Yeah. Little record scratch as well. What's your work? Oh, I just want to freaking save so I can end the stream. Chotomate! What's this truck doing here? Someone moving. Head up the stairs in the alley, around back, and tear Sky Finance to shreds. We're not leaving until we haul every last document we find. Whatever they try to say, tell them we're under orders from the district attorney's office. That's all they need to know. The DA, I wonder what happened. Is that Dante? Uh, what? What are you doing here? Kiryu. Dante san. Hisashiburi da na. Sashiburi indeed. What's going on, Kiryu? You show up to in a guy's bar and don't even drop him a line first? Sorry, I'm out of cocaine. Sorry for not letting you know, Dante. I have some business in town. Work never ends for the ex fourth chairman, huh? We got that right. Anyways, so this is Yasuko Saijima. I'm here helping her with a little something. It's nice to meet you. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. She's a knockout, Kiryu. How'd you end up bringing a girl like her back here, huh? Whatever you're thinking, I guarantee you've got the wrong idea. Let's leave it at that. By the way, where's Mama? Gone for the week. Family trouble. You know how it goes. And you're holding down the fort while she's gone? Yep. Been a real pain. W with my other work and all. She insists we keep it open for the regulars. Lucky for us, she does. Now then, what's this little something you need to take care of? All oh, right, you might take in a seat, Yasuko. Um, please, I just need to ask you something before we head out to find your brother. Okay. So what do you want to ask me? Sorry if it's a little, it's a blunt question, but why do you need to see your brother so bad? Bad enough to murder for it. Wait, you what? Kiryu, is this really the best place to? Don't worry about Date. He's an ex-detective, yeah, but I, we can trust him, I promise. He'd never turn you in without hearing what you had to say first. Isn't that right, Date? Well, uh, yeah, that's right. Now tell me the truth, Yasuko. Why would you go so far for your brother? I... Yasuko? Come on. It's because... Because Taiga's everything to me. I owe him my life. What? I'm serious. If it weren't for him, I would have died years ago. Go on. Have you ever heard of living donor kidney transplant? Oh yeah, you read about those things all the time. That's what they give you a kidney from one of the relatives, right? They said you only need one after all. The truth of it is, I'm the recipient of one of those living donor transplants. 
And your brother is the one who gave it to you, huh? That's what you meant when you said you owe him your life. Yes. Hold on. Getting a transplant like that from your sibling isn't that un uncommon. No, I'm not judging or anything, but do you really owe him that much for just a kidney? It's not that simple. Think you can explain? The kidney I got, it wasn't Tyga's. It wasn't a match. What, different blood types? Well, yes, but... But what? Couldn't you get the transplant from your brother? Yasuko? I, um... I think I get what's going on here. You and Taiga aren't actually siblings. Kiryu. He's right. Taiga is my stepfather's son from his pri prior marriage. While my mother had me before she and my stepfather ever met. And where did you find a match? Since my mother had already passed. Taiga tracked down my biological father and begged him to donate his kidney to me. Saijima. Beyond the regular difficulty of finding a kidney donor, my blood type is extremely rare. <laughs> it's like um, the Shibuya scramble. A direct relative was my only hope of a match. Once Taiga learned that, he spent every waking moment of his life scouring the city until he found my father. He was only 15 years old at the time. Still just a kid, huh? I had honestly given up before my mother died. She told me my father was nothing more than an abusive drunk with no chance of ever changing. Based on what I knew, it, was, it seemed likely he was already dead. Even if he wasn't, I didn't want to live knowing I owed him, I owed my life to such a horrible man. At the time, I would have rather died than to continue carrying a part of him inside me. But Taiga wouldn't take no for an answer. He said no matter what happened, he would take care of me. Then he found your dad. Yes. Well, where was he? In Kansai. He'd started working for a Yakuza organization called the Omi Alliance, handling the dirty jobs no one else wanted to touch. The Omi? That's right. Taiga went alone to Kansai, knowing full well that my father was Yakuza, but let me guess. They tried to extort him. Exactly. The Yakuza threw and through. My father demanded a massive sum of, sum of money in exchange for one of his kidneys. How much ta cash are we talking here? 30 million yen. 30 mil? That's a ton now, but it was a fortune back then. How was a kid ever supposed to get his hand on that, hands on that kind of money? He wasn't. That's the point. But Taiga didn't give up. He started fighting thugs in the streets of Kamurocho, trying to scrap together whatever funds he could. That would never work. Not for cash like that. It didn't. Not until Sai-san from the Tojo clan stepped in. He gave Taiga the 30 million under one condition. He joined the Sasai family. So that's how he ended up in the Tojo. At that time, Taiga never turned his back on me. Even when it seemed like all hope was lost, he supported me. Dropped out of high school, gave up on his dream of becoming a teacher, and even joined the Yakuza for me. So that's what you meant when you owe him your life. That's right, he's everything to me. Not only did Taiga literally save my life, but he gave me the will to keep on living. Yasuko. <gasps> Tears. Shoujikiyuto. アニが18人殺した犯人とか、そうじゃないとか、真犯人は別にいるとか、そんなのはどうでもいいんです。私にとって、お兄ちゃんはお兄ちゃんだから。あんたには こんなに切実に会いたがってるってのに、安子さん、もし最島がすでに死んでいたとしたら、あんたどうするつもりだ？死ぬ気なんじゃないのか？うっ。Dante, <laughs> please have to save. Yasuko, you keep saying you owe Taiga your life, and I get it. We rely on other people. It's hard to keep going without someone loving you, supporting you, pushing you onward. But in your case, Taiga become more, became more than that. He's not just your support. He's your li reason to keep living. I I know your life hasn't been easy for you. Losing your parents is one of the worst pains imaginable. You had to bear that burden at a far younger age than most. But having a hard life doesn't excuse the way you've lived. Not that I have any right to talk. I've made my fair share of mistakes. I understand why you feel so strongly, but that emotion has led you to do some bad decisions. It's not a stretch to say it's completely clouded your judgment. So I need you to stay here while I figure out where your brother is. It's for your own good. If 
but Kiryu, don't worry. I'll find him, and I'll make sure you two are reunited, I promise. But for now, you need to be patient, okay? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Yasuko. I want to save! Take care of her for me. Yeah, do you need to ask? Oh my god. I just want to save. Hold on a sec, Kiryu. What's wrong? You didn't save. There's something I need to tell you. I couldn't really say it in there. Does it involve Yasuko? You bet. She found out about this. She'd end up getting herself in, into more trouble. Well, what is it? Well, you just got here, so you probably haven't noticed, but the whole town's kind of on edge. Is it Saijima? Partially, I'm sure. But there's more to it than that. Word on the street is Majima and Saijima linked up a few years ago, a few days ago. What? Yep. I hear Majima had his boys line up the whole damn street to keep the cops off of Saijima. So they already met. Speaking of, Date, you know where I can find Majima. I need to talk to him as soon as possible. Not about Saijima. Majima might be able to tell me more about the connections between the top police brass, Jingu and the Tojo clan. The police? What are you talking about? Sorry, I can't say more than that. Just know that people are gunning for the Tojo. No matter what's going down, I need to hear Majima's side of the story. Last I heard, he's taking root up on the top floor of the Millennium, to the Millennium Tower. There's your starting bet. Thanks. Oh my god, I want to sleep. I want to eat. Huh? I got an email. Come to Yoshi Biting Center. Let's finish what we started four years ago. Okay. We're going to save. Oh, thank God. All right. We're going to call it there for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good night.